My name is Iris Nathaniel, and I'm a therapist in private practice. I have an office in Encino and an office in Brentwood. People really get stuck often in being able to speak their truth in their lives, and that, you know, um, speaking your truth and being assertive is highly correlated with maintaining self-esteem. So it's important to be able to do that, and therapy can be a, re a safe space to practice that. I really um, tune in to each individual and what they require and what their needs are at the particular moment that they're seeking help. Um, but if we had to look at theoretical orientations, I would say that there's several that I draw from. One is definitely psychodynamic because I really believe that um, the wounding that one has experienced in the past has a role in patterns that are unhealthy, that show up in adulthood, and that um, it's important to look at that, one, for awareness, but the other is to really release whatever emotions are stuck there. I also have a piece that I do um, in psychotherapy that I think is really important, which is a psychoeducational piece, and that involves teaching people uh, coping skills. And so I work a lot with teaching uh, communication skills and for uh, my clients to be able to really speak their truth as they feel it with the people around them and with me. And I also teach people uh, problem solving skills. And because I have a background in teaching stress management, if it's um, applicable and if the client is interested, um, I also teach um, meditation techniques, breathing techniques, um, and visualization and relaxation techniques. I really work from a deep place of care with my clients and with an open heart. And so I really make sure that I'm fully emotionally available to my clients and my clients know that and feel that because I really feel that that's, that's where the healing really lies. The way we relate to life can change. The way we relate to life can improve. And so when someone can look into li at life and see every experience as an opportunity for growth, and when someone can uh, embrace and embody everything that they feel without judgment and with self-acceptance, I think that that's success.